Yo, what is going on guys? My name is McClick33 and welcome back to another video. In a recent community blog post, Bungie gave us the details for how they were going to quote unquote normalize range. What this essentially means is that the bonuses given to a weapon with a higher zoom value will be lowered, and the bonuses given to a weapon by its range stat will be raised. Caught up in this unfortunate debacle is the perk Rangefinder. It's rumored that alongside this change, Rangefinder will also be getting a nerf. Rangefinder has been an S plus tier perk for a very long time, giving a weapon more zoom for literally no cost at all, except that it makes close quarters fights just a little bit more difficult, as your aim down sight's FOV was more limited. In turn, this bonus zoom would extend the weapon's optimal range by a whopping 2 to 3 meters sometimes, and give it more aim assist making it feel stickier at longer ranges. So overall, an absolute monster of a perk. While Rangefinder is a great perk on pretty much any weapon it comes on, hand cannons are often considered to be the weapons that get the most benefits from it. So with all that build up, I now present you with what I think the best 5 alternative perks for hand cannons are once Rangefinder gets nerfed. Starting off at number 5, we have Timed and Explosive Payload. These two perks are pretty much brother and sister to each other, and while they are for the most part the same perk, there is one major difference that makes each one unique. Both perks split the damage of your shot into two separate parts, the impact damage and the explosive damage. While the impact damage is reduced, the explosive damage makes up for it. And the special part about the explosive damage is that it never receives damage fall off. While the impact damage reacts like a normal hand cannon shot, losing damage the further away you shoot someone, the explosive damage always remains the same, no matter how far away you are. Because of this, you can hit someone for significantly more damage from significantly further away. On top of this, both perks flinch the other player a lot more than a normal bullet, and this is where the difference in perks comes in. While explosive payload is an instant explosion that occurs right as the bullet hits the target, timed payload, as the name suggests, has a short delay of about one second. Each of these perks has a trade-off. Explosive Payload does not lower the optimal TTK and immediately flinches your opponent, meaning that it's better if both of you are shooting at the same time. Timed Payload, on the other hand, does lower the TTK, as you will have to land three shots and then wait for the payload to go off. But, in turn, it flinches your opponent on a delay, meaning that you are getting potentially more flinch per shot. My reasoning for this is as follows. While you get increased flinch just straight up from explosive payload, you get both bullet flinch and the payload flinch from timed payload. Okay, so I've spoken wonders about these perks for a bit now, but why are they in the last spot? This may be more of a personal bias against them, but I find hand cannons with these perks significantly harder to use. I'm not sure if it's the explosion that happens that can sometimes cover up the enemy's head, but I've always had trouble using a weapon with a payload perk. With that being said, if you are comfortable using a payload perk, absolutely use it in PvP. These are both fantastic perks and their value should not be diminished by my personal bias. Rolling in at number 4, we actually have Fragile Focus. This relatively new perk introduced with Season of the Haunted was first received uh, quite poorly. Its debut perk description said that it gave bonus range until the player was damaged. So overall, not the worst thing ever, but there were way better range perks to be using. Now, with a recent rework, the perk's value has skyrocketed. The perk was changed so that you no longer lose the bonus when getting hit once, but after your shields break. This means that you no longer lose that range boost after getting shot by some guy halfway across the map with no time to explain, but rather by taking at least 130 damage. On top of this, once the buff is lost, it comes back once your shields have regened, which at 100 recovery, which, I mean let's be honest, if you aren't running 100 recovery, what are you doing, should be pretty quick. On top of all this, from the two hand cannons in the game that have this perk, it spawns in the left column, meaning that if they keep this trend up, you could potentially pair it with another ranged perk in the right column. I think that the only thing I can really dislike about this perk is that it's on so few hand cannons. I really hope they add it to more in the future because it is truly a fantastic perk now that they've reworked it. Coming in at number 3 is a fan favorite perk and we have Opening Shot. 
While in my opinion the value of opening shot is greater on shotguns and snipers, there is no denying that it is a monster of a perk on hand cannons. Giving you 25 range, 20 aim assist, and helping with your accuracy cone is no joke. The only drawback of the perk is that it only helps on the first shot. Once you fire that first shot, all those bonuses go away until a 3 second cooldown is refreshed. There really isn't too much I can say about opening shot. It's a great perk now, it's been a great perk for as long as I can remember, and the only drawback is that it only works on the first shot. I think that it does find more value when paired with other ranged perks, like one that will come up later in this list, but it works well enough on its own that it doesn't necessarily need one. Overall, just a fantastic perk to use, and really a great option for any hand cannon. The runner-up spot, which very nearly took the top spot, but after careful consideration was dropped down to number 2, this goes to the new kit on the block, Keep Away. Introduced with Lightfall, Keep Away was an instant fan favorite. The perk provides additional accuracy, range, and reload speed while outside 15 meters of an enemy. On literally any weapon this rolls on, not even just hand cannons, it is an S tier perk. On longer range weapons, you're already sitting back far enough to get the benefits of free accuracy and range, and on closer range weapons, it allows you to sit back a little further, because as long as you're outside that 15 meters, you're getting the benefit of free accuracy and range. I've heard this perk be called Rangefinder Light, and for good reason. This perk is powerful. It's up about 95% of the time, and gives some of the most useful benefits to have in PvP. The only drawback is that Bungie seemed to realize how powerful these bonuses were, and thus the bonuses themselves are not super huge. The range granted is only 10, which is less than half of what's granted by opening shot. The accuracy granted is a reduction in accuracy cone by only 5%, and no additional aim assist like opening shot. Nevertheless, I think this perk will skyrocket in popularity once Rangefinder, its main competitor, falls from the throne, and I'll be eager to see how options like the Apocal Integration fare uh, when that time comes. Before I get to my top spot, I want to give an honorable mention to Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm has been one of my favorite hand cannon perks for a long time now, especially in game modes like Trials or Comp, where one-on-one -on -one duels are more prevalent. Giving you bonus aim assist, handling, and bonuses to your accuracy cone is super helpful, and the caveat of only activating at low health is not that big of an issue, because it almost always secures a duel for you. If you and another player are both firing a 140 RPM hand cannon, and yours has Eye of the Storm and theirs doesn't, that extra help from the perk will pretty much ensure that you don't lose that gunfight. The biggest drawback about this perk is that it isn't a ranged perk. For everything that I love about Eye of the Storm, it lacks probably the single most important aspect of a hand cannon. With all that being said, it is one of the best pairing perks. If a hand cannon ever comes out that can roll both Fragile Focus and Eye of the Storm at the same time, I will be all over it. And yes, I know pure poetry can get that roll, but I'd rather run a hot iron across my bare fingers and toes than use that gun without perpetual motion or elemental capacitor. Another great combo that uses Eye of the Storm is Opening Shot. The first shot from opening shot is going to give you a boost to aim assist and range, and the last few are going to get bonus accuracy from Eye of the Storm. So overall, I love this perk. It's just not great on its own, and that's why it gets an honorable mention. So finally, we've reached the top spot. What do I think the best hand cannon perk will be after Rangefinder is nerfed? Well, if you've been keeping track and know a handful of the best range perks, It'll probably be no surprise to you that I chose Slide Shot for this placement. Where do you even start with Slide Shot? While other ranged perks have pretty significant drawbacks, like Opening Shot only activating on the first shot, or Fragile Focus going away after your shields break, Slide Shot gives you an extra 20 range and a ridiculous 30 stability for simply playing the game how most people already play. If you aren't sliding around at least somewhat often, please go watch a movement tutorial, I promise it'll help. There really is no drawback on the perk. You slide a corner to peek someone, boom, extra range and stability. You are just randomly sliding out in the open because why the hell not when suddenly some goober emerges from a doorway 30 plus meters away, boom, extra range and stability. And on top of all of this, the cherry on top is that sliding reloads your magazine. On a hand cannon, sliding will return two rounds to the magazine, 
meaning that you never have to reload. Who needs the extra 30 reload granted by keep away when you can just slide to get all your ammo back? There really isn't a downside to this perk, and if it was, it'd be that after sliding you only have a short window where the buff is granted. The best part about the perk is that you can often tell that someone has a slide shotgun on because they look like they keep slipping on banana peels every 10 feet, because all they ever do is slide. And it's friggin' hilarious. Slide Shot is an absolute S++ tier perk, and absolutely deserves its spot here at number 1. So, there you guys have it. If there are any perks you think I missed or deserve a spot on the list, let me know down in the comments section down below. Anyways guys, that will do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did be sure to leave a like, and if you guys really enjoyed or are new here, be sure to subscribe because that'd be awesome. If you want to see me do more Destiny 2 content similar to this, let me know down in the comments section down below. If you want to get in touch with me, the best place is on Twitter or Discord, both will be linked in the description. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.